Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share my Dollar Tree haul with you guys from my hometown, Cornwall, Ontario. You might hear my husband roaming around in the house and my mom might be roaming around in the house as well. And of course you might hear Woody. <laughs> so let's get right into this. I have a few things to share. It's, it's a big enough haul. I picked up these Lucky Charm Spring Edition and this is the Magic Clover Churn Milk Leaf. It turns milk green, sorry. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I picked those up for my children. They're best before December of 2023. And my kids love Lucky Charms, especially my son-in-law. So he will really, really enjoy these. So I picked up three boxes all together, one for each of them, uh, one for each of my little guys. Soon I'll have to buy four of everything for them whenever uh, Abigail just gets a little bit bigger for sure. Um, I did pick myself up these uh, Chinese style noodles. I put some um, bean sprouts in here with it and it is deep delicious so and then I cook a whole bunch of veggies sometimes I put chicken um, sometimes I'd like to try it with shrimp I don't think I've done that yet but these are so good and what a quick meal very very good so I got those um, I also came across this now this is best before February no wait I probably won't be able to find oh best before December of 2023. So I have time yet. This is a sun-dried tomatoes when you're cooking anything. This is a really good addition, uh, you know, if you like that kind of stuff. And it says it's marinated uh, and it's without oil. So yes, this is, I hope it's good. I'm not really sure. And I don't even, I've never heard of the company before. So I did get that. But then I came across this as well. And this is the Gourmet Selections Pickled Onions. So I like that. And I pickle my own. I just buy frozen whole onions, um, uh, I don't, I never found them here where I live in Ontario, but when I go across to the Walmart in Messina, New York, they have frozen uh, little onions. And then I just take them and I put them in my leftover pickle juice from my pickles and they are delicious. So I just picked this up just to give it a whirl, just to see. And I don't even, I'll see if I can find the best before, you know me. Uh, best before. December again of 2023 and I'll have these I love these put them on the side of my plate whenever I'm eating you know a steak or a nice roast or anytime in a salad it doesn't really matter just hope that they taste really really good hoping so I got those um what else I'll stick to the food section for now I picked up this the rolled oats I enjoy making at this time of year banana bread I put oats in it anything I make even oat uh, oatmeal muffins are really really good so I just got that and uh, of course we eat oatmeal in the morning so I got that for us too to have um I picked up these this is mom's best gourmet foods there's not a lot in here but I'm anxious to try them these are all butter no preservatives pure uh all butter no preservatives and it's just the shortbread cookies so I thought I'd give them a try and they feel quite large in the bag so we'll just give them a try, see if we like them or not. I got that. Oh, and in the food section as well, I picked up a few of these. Sorry about that. This is just the Annie's. Now, Annie's in the store is quite expensive for me. I find it wouldn't be the macaroni that I would pick up. It's probably like $2.99, $3.99 a box. So for $1.50 here at the Dollar Tree in Canada, it's pretty good. So this is the um, spirals with butter and Parmesan. Now, my husband loves this. So I picked up uh, four boxes all together for him and he will really, really enjoy that. So it's nice to have a change from craft dinner from time to time. And this one is the butter and Parmesan. So really, really good. So that's it for the food as far as I can see. Um, he picked this up, this type C USB cable for his computer or something or his phone maybe or his little ipad or whatever you call it so he picked that up for himself um and then he, for his halloween stuff now here's a few things that he got for his halloween for his haunted house so like i said we have containers and we're going to put all these little skulls in there we're going to put a light that blinks on, on and off inside so it'll look really really scary so he picked up three of these skulls to go in there so a really really cute little thing to have in there and as i'm telling you i'm putting it in his bag here he has a bag beside me that i put all of his halloween stuff for his halloween haunted house he picked up two packs of these 10 pieces in each these are the hands so so cute and they'll look really cute in there you can do anything with them and make it look a little spooky so we got two packs of those he did pick up two packs of those bones for the same thing there is 18 pieces in here so just a cute little addition to his little haunted house that he's doing he picked up this spider webbing and it has little spiders inside so he has a few of these so he just picked up two more to be sure and like i said he's going to store all this stuff in a nice little trunk so he'll always always have it 
Um, and that's it for his decorations. I did get a few Christmas things. We'll get into that in just one moment. I picked up the resin studio and I thought this would be really nice whenever I'm making anything. Musical notes in a few resin pieces that I have. I've made, like I said, I showed them before. I don't even know when I showed them, but I made some beautiful dominoes and you can add little pieces of flex of little, this one has musical notes. I did my sister's in musical notes. Mine I did with dried, um, dried flowers and it turned out beautiful as well. So I just I picked up two of those, some gold and silver, and then this has gold and silver as well. And then a little bit of color right here. So I got that, that's mine. I also picked up these cuties, the gingerbread guys. These are really, really nice. Give me one sec guys. Sorry about that, I had to cough. So these are really, I picked these up, not to so much decorate in my house with, but if you're sending a nice little card through flat mail for your uh, YouTube friends or family, um, you could add a cute little thing like this. It doesn't cost any extra, it's flat. They could hang it in their tree. You can add a little note to the back of it, but just so cute. And that's why I picked these up. They are like a garland, but I'm gonna take them off and, you know, and just make them individual or maybe they are individual, I don't really know, and then send them along in some friend mail, and it's a cute little gift at the same time. Nothing better than a little homemade gift. So I got that. Now, these are really cute. Caught my eye right away, and I thought, yeah, I'm getting those. So these are just the um, little ornament gift tags. I'll probably use them for something else in a nice little decoration, nice little wreath. This one says Farm Fresh, Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. I love the size. They're not, you know, before... Dollar Tree came out with bigger ones. These are a nice, nice size. So I love it so much. So I got that one. This one just says Joy. So cute with that little deer head on there. Just beautiful, really rustic. I love it. And then this one says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees as well with a little arrow. These are adorable. I love them. And they'd even be nice on a gift. Somebody could take this gift take this off their gift and then hang it wherever, put it in a wreath, use it as a decor piece. It's just so cute. So I got that. Now I also picked this up because sometimes when my littles come over, I like to have a little bit of entertaining for them to do things. This is the animal vacation sticker book so they can find the, the right sticker where it goes and they will enjoy having fun with that. So I got that for one of the boys just to have in a little collection I have. This is paint water. So, you know, they just enjoy sitting at grandma's house with a little water and painting on these pages. You don't have to take any paint out and it's mess free. So I, well, it was a little mess with the water, but it's still, that's easy. That's an easy cleanup. So anyway, I picked that one up for them as well. And then I picked up these for my office because I have to, you know, I, I like to keep track of spending and stuff, what we've spent on just for myself. So I just picked up two, two of these little column pads for myself. There's 25 sheets in each. And then the cutest piece that I picked up for myself is this adorable little Christmas mug. And I think it's really, really nice. It says, have a cup of cheer. And isn't this cute? And I do these little Christmas mugs when I put the faux whip topping on them. So that's why I picked it up. I just think it's adorable. So that will be my Christmas mug this year. If I, you know, maybe I'll give it away, but I love the pink in it and everything too. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye everybody.